Hey my crafty friends, today is part two video of the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo Hall from Florida. I hope you all enjoy this video. It's a bit lengthy, so I hope just sit back and get your cup of java or whatever you drink and enjoy. Hey guys, it's Deb here with Creative Life. Welcome to my crafty channel, y'all, and thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys are going to have a great day today, and I hope that you all have a wonderful uh, 4th of July. So I don't know when I'll be posting this, so I hope you guys had a great time uh, on 4th of July with friends or family or whatever you're going to do for the holiday. Um, we think we're just going to sit back and relax. We haven't really talked about anything for 4th of July, so I really don't know if we're doing anything. But y'all, so some of you know that I went to the Florida Expo uh, down, uh, let's see, was was June 2nd through the 4th, okay, and I had posted some videos on my Facebook page, and um, so if you're friends with me, you got to see those videos, and I had a great time. I met up with Kimmy and Tiffany. I didn't get a chance to do a live video on YouTube. Um, I actually tried, but it wouldn't work, so I don't know what was going on, so I just did it on my Facebook page. But um, I'm going to share some of the goodies that I got over there and I know it's been a few weeks already but I'm still super excited from looking at all the goodies that I got and no I have not been using them because I haven't really had time to use anything since I've been back um, I, I well I take that back I have a few videos coming out that I did use a few things and um, I'll be sharing with those videos with you um, here pretty soon if I haven't already done so. So um, let's go ahead and we'll show you some of the things that I got. Okay, so one of the things that I just absolutely had to have was this chipboard um, and it's the Simple Stories paper pack, uh, Simple um, Vintage Coastal. Okay, and it's by Simple Stories. And y'all, this paper pack, I don't remember where I bought it from. Um, I know there are a lot, there were a lot of vendors that were selling this, this paper. Um, and I want to say I got it from Creek Bank Creations, but I'm not quite sure. And I have some things that from there that I bought, and I'm going to share that with you guys in a minute. So this paper is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to take it out, and sorry for all the noise, you guys. So here is the chipboard pieces. Okay, there's that. Here is the ephemera. I'm going to share this with you guys here. So pretty excited about this, and then um, I wanted to share the paper with you. So this is the sticker sheet, you guys. Oh my gosh, it is so bright, so pretty. And yes, I'm going to put some of the pictures um, that I took in Florida. Um, and so my husband and I just celebrated our 35th anniversary, and that was at the beginning of May. Um, and that was why we booked this trip. We went down there to um, just, you know, get away and celebrate our 35 years. And um, we had so much fun walking on the beach and swimming in the ocean. It was so fun, you guys. And my husband and I just had a blast. And um, we just made some really beautiful memories. And I cannot wait to use some of this paper for scrapbooking. So I'm definitely going to be doing that. Um, oh my gosh. So I'm really super excited. And so yeah, so, so here's some of the paper. I love the little ships on this. This one has the boats. And um, I love this back. I love all of these. These are so cool. Love all of that. Some really fun backgrounds here, you guys. Oh my gosh, I love that. And like I said, the colors are just absolutely, oh my god, they're gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous in this paper collection. So if you see this paper collection, you all gotta get it, because I'm telling you, it's absolutely gorgeous. Now, usually I don't do a lot of beachy stuff, I, you know, I'm not, well, we, I don't live by the beach, so 
I don't usually, it's not the type of paper I usually go for, but since my husband and I went on vacation to the beach, <laughs> we got to sit at the beach, um, I thought this would be such a fun paper to use, and um, I'm super excited to use this paper, so yeah, so it's just so fun, and the colors, like I said, are really pretty, I love that, the background paper. Uh, with the shell and the seahorses. Um, I did get a chance to do something that I've never done. I was super, super nervous to do this, but I'll tell you guys, it was the most fun thing, and that is snorkeling. So I've never tried it before, and it was so much fun, you guys. We had a blast. Um, definitely, now I want to go snorkeling, like, all the time, <laughs> because it was so fun. And, um, yeah, so uh, I just, we really had a good time. And uh, I, now I want to try uh, scuba diving. So I thought that would be something fun. In our future, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, maybe in our future we'll do that here. <laughs> but I just wanted to share that with you. Now, the next one that I got here um, is uh, the Simple Stories Page Kit. Now that one has this uh, paper collection this uh, simple vintage postal paper collection in it but it just the, it's a page kit so the kits the pages are already put together all you have to do is just grab your tape and stick it together but I absolutely love that thought that was super super fun and um, yeah so I'll be doing that and then um, the next one I got, I thought this was super cute. And I, I think I got this over at Faith and Art. I think that's what what the, the booth is called. And I might have bought those paper packs because it was with this one. So this is called Faith and, Faith and Art Shop. This was one of the vendors that were there. And um, I'm trying to think if I bought, I know I bought something else from them but I don't remember what it was. I'm trying to find it. I thought, hold on one second. I know I bought this and I know I bought something else, but I cannot find it. I don't know where it is. I don't remember where I bought, what, what else I bought. I can't find it right now, so. But I thought this was super cute, and I loved the bright colors on it, and um, yeah, and it just says illustrates faith, and it's it's fun, you know, it's just it's just fun colors. I'm trying to figure out where the where oh here it is. Here's the opening. I haven't opened it. I just saw actually I saw the the front page and then I saw the stickers and I just fell in love with it because it was just so so pretty, and I love that. It has, um, you know, all these little sayings on here. It's memories, um, faith, adorable cuteness, and um, you are beloved. And I love how it has all these little stickers on here. So, so cute. And I love the colors. The colors are so pretty and vivid. So, And this sticker is, like, really, really thick. So here's some of, some of the... Um, pages. I thought that these little birds were super cute and the flowers. Such bright, happy colors on here. I didn't come with too many um, pa uh, pages, but I just loved it. I just thought it was really cute and I thought it would be great for like card making, um, you know, or something like that. And Anyways, I bought that. Let me put this away real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so the next thing I want to share with you guys is... Um, 
one of my favorite stores you guys this was one store that i just loved hanging out at and i actually took one of their classes and we made some super cute cards you guys um and it's creek bank creations and they i have never heard of them before until i i took one of the classes and i went to their their shop or their little vending spot and um i really had a good time meeting them and uh just loved their their papers and their dyes oh my gosh you guys their dyes are awesome and um so this is their donut paper and you all <sighs> I just fell in love with this paper, okay? And we used it, I think we used it on one of the cards, and so I have to share with you, with you guys the cards that um, we made. And first, I'm gonna go ahead and share the paper with you guys real quick, and I'm just gonna flip through it real quick. So, um, it's so stinking cute. So you get, so basically you get the same, same um, patterns over and over and over again, right? So, and then you flip them over, and then there's the donuts, and you get little banners, and there's the white donuts, oh, so the confetti, or the little sprinkles. Um, so, yeah, so this is such a cute, cute paper line. Oh, I had to have it. So, um, and when I share with you the cards that we made, you guys are going to be like, what? <laughs> so, <laughs> so cute. Like I said, I have not heard of them before, but I had such a fun time with them and I absolutely love their store and um, okay so this one is a um, of course you know I picked it's three pieces it's a unique pull so it's actually a pulley uh, that you can pull down we're gonna make a card with this one okay and um, push and pull die set basically is what it is so I thought that was pretty cool so um, yeah so and I'm gonna share with you how we used this okay so there's that and then I found these little um, uh, flip-flops with paradise word in it and I had to get that because to go on of course my scrapbook pages right so we needed that and then um, I ruined I accidentally set my hot glue gun on my packaging right here so it got kind of a little bit ruined there but I loved these donuts you guys I had to get the donuts so um, you get a small and a big one. You get the little frosting, the sprinkles, and yeah, you get the frosting. So, oh my gosh, so cute, so cute. So, um, okay, so hang on to that thought there because I'm going to show you guys the cards that we made. <laughs> and then these are their um, double-sided adhesive foam sheets, okay? And I got these. These were super nice. They're very thick and durable. Um, I absolutely love these so I got a couple of those and then you guys so here are the cards that we made okay I'm gonna share with you guys and this is why I had to get the um, little pull set and I had to get the donuts because check that out isn't that so stinking cute I absolutely I'm gonna put like a little I think I might make another little donut and stick it up here or something but I just thought this was super super cute and um, so yeah so I had to I had to buy the donut set so that was one card that we made okay and then the other card I did not put together okay wait well this one I did but then the other one I did not finish putting together but I'm gonna share with you what it's supposed to look like okay because I haven't put, finished putting it together yet so hold on one second. Okay, hold that thought. Okay, oh, you know what? This is the card that hasn't been put together. I didn't put this on yet, that's right. Okay, so this, this goes with this. Okay, so this little donut scoots up. This little cup sits on there, okay? And it gets dunked into the cup. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I forgot about that. That's what that cup was for. So this is the card that I just need to finish putting together. And um, I just thought that that was stinking cute idea. Now how she made the cups is um, she took K-cups, okay, and just washed them out and, um, and then just went ahead and cut them, you know, in half. So that's what she used was K-cups. So I thought that was a stinking cute idea. 
and definitely going to be lifting that one for sure. So, <laughs> so anyway, but there's that idea. Okay. So that's what you can use these little donuts for. All right. Is making these little donuts in this card. So stinking cute. And the paper. So the paper we used and the donut and everything. And, and then of course the little, the pulley die thing. So this card was stinking cute. This is just a little um, stand-up card, okay, a little easel card that you put your donut on, okay, and we used a big donut, a little donut, and then, of course, we used the the paper, uh, the donut from the paper, uh, the paper, <laughs> the donut paper, <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. <laughs> Oh, I am getting tongue-tied here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's been forever since I've made a video, so, yeah, I guess I'm learning how to talk all over again. So this card was pretty cute, and we used a large uh, stamp uh, that they did for us, and it says you are coffee to my donut, and that is so cute. And then we did some little donuts here. We made uh, a little shaker mix, and, of course, you, you, we used the little donut paper in the back. And then this right here is a die that they uh, cut out. They cut out all the pieces for us, so we didn't have to cut out anything. And then we just threw, we just put it all together. So, yeah, so that was pretty cute. So, yeah, so I'm gonna grab those, set those off to the side. And then, so I did have some leftover, um, that is mine. And um, it did have some leftover mix left over, so I don't know. Yeah, it's right here. The leftover, some of the leftover coffee beans. So I used that for another um, shaker later. So, yeah. So anyway, so that is that. Okay, and these are so stinky cute, you guys. I had a good time with that. And, okay. Oh, there's the other bag from the Faith faithful design store you guys so and I'm gonna stick these in here real quick so I will put the names of all the stores I went to and then you guys can um, of course you guys can go take a look at them okay and I'm gonna swap this one out. here's here's some other stuff that I bought from the faithful design store or Faith Faithful. I keep calling it Faithful, but it's Faith and Art. I did, they had a sale on um, the Distress Oxide inks, and so I went ahead and got some, and I got another one of these. Okay, I have, I, I, I don't know why I got two of them, but I did. And then I got Mustard Seed, Abandoned Coral, and Peacock Feathers. I don't have a lot of the Octus distress oxide inks but I'm trying to um, buy some more for my stash and um, yeah so anyway again this store is called faith and art shop okay so I don't know if you guys can see that okay and um, and then I bought some little stickers or actually I didn't buy these these were a free gift so a lot of the times all the vendors if you bought something from their shop um, you got a free sticker set so um, yeah and I actually got something from photo play as well and I'm going to share with you uh, share that with you in just one second so stick that in here and So the next up is Photo Play, you guys. And from Photo Play, um, I actually got a free. I, I bought I bought some Christmas paper, and they were having a sale. And so, of course, I, you know I love Christmas, and um, I always feel like I don't have enough Christmas paper, but I do <laughs> I have a lot. <laughs> 
and I need to probably get rid of some, but <laughs> it's a story for another time. So I bought this Christmas cheer paper by Photoplay. I absolutely love the um, the pictures, the stickers on here, and it came with some uh, ephemera, and I like that it has like a mixture of black and gray with the red and white, and it's just so pretty. So I bought that, and then, um, I don't know if I got any, yeah, okay, so I got this, um, I got two of these packs, I believe, right, yeah, so I bought two of these, um, I bought two of these, because, you know, I didn't know if I was going to be making a scrapbook or a mini album, or if I just wanted scrapbook pages, so, um, I am trying to get more into scrapbook pages and stuff, and so I thought that way it might be fun. And then I bought um, this little chipboard. It's the North Pole one, but I liked this one because it had the little hot cocoa, it had holidays, and all of that. And I think it'll be a nice contrast if I do some of these, if I do bring some green into this, I think it will be a nice contrast in there. So... Um, so I don't know if I'll be using these with this, but I know that I do have some red and green papers in my stash, and so I'll be using that. But anyway, here's a closer look of the paper, and I'm like, I was going to just take out the ephemera pack and share with you the front of that because I have so much to share with you guys. I don't want to take out every single thing, but I have a lot to share with you. And then um, the ephemera on the back looks like this. I absolutely thought this was a nice pack. So, um, so anyway, so there's those two. Okay, again, those are from Photoplay. The name is Christmas Cheer. And then, um, then the next one I bought was um, the photo play, uh, let's see, Tula and Norbit's Sweet as Honey. Now, I am not, <laughs> I'm not a big gnome fan, but they're kind of growing on me, you guys, okay? Because I have a few little pals, you know, I have Tiffany and, and Kim and a few other uh, crafty friends that are, uh, that love the little gnomes. And um, I, like I said, I'm not a really big gnome fan, but they're kind of growing on me. Okay, I'm getting, I'm late to the game as usual. <laughs> so, but um, I really like that. It is so stinking cute. So I had it, I went ahead and got it, you know, cause I thought, you know, I know I'll use it. And the bees are so cute because they have little happy faces on them. And y'all know, I love that. I love anything happy and cheerful. Um, you know, and, uh, so anyway, so, yep, so I went ahead and got this one. Now they got one pack, um, for right now, <laughs> and I say that, you know, for right now, we'll see. The next one I got was, um, A Day at the Park, and this is Disney paper, and, uh, I got this one, and I also bought, oh, you know what, I forgot to tell you, I got, um, the Norbit and, uh, Honey, at uh, the Tula and Norbit Sweet as Honey ephemera pack. So that's the ephemera pack that goes with that. I thought that was super cute. So, yeah. So, uh, like I said, they had a, a really good sale. And I can't remember. It was like, they were like $5 a piece or something like that for, you know, five for, five for 25. I don't, I don't remember. I, I just, I don't remember it off the top of my head. But um, I know that they were really inexpensive. And that's why I went ahead and bought uh, some of these paper pads and then um, and then I bought Disney I'm not like I don't really do a whole lot of Disney you guys um, but again because we were in Florida and we did go to the uh, Universal and I thought this might be fun to any I know it's not Disney but I thought it would be fun to um, put our pictures on here and uh, so yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and stick my ephemera in the pack because otherwise you know I'll lose it and yeah so there's that now with that I went ahead and um you get I think you get a couple of things for free and I can't remember if this was for free or not or if I bought this but you get this die set and I liked that outline the scalloped die 
and so and I don't have one of these um, but in actuality at the time I didn't think I had one but I actually have just one die that is scalloped and it's like this big one here and so I don't have two smaller ones but um, I thought you know that's okay um, I didn't realize it until I got home <laughs> of course <laughs> So that's okay. Um, but yeah, so there's that. And then this one here, um, it, you get a free gift. And so I picked these little, um, I picked these little uh, um, ghosts. And I think that these were so stinking cute because you can put these on a card. And how cute you can make a little face on these. And if you have stamps, you can definitely stamp a little face on top of these little ghosts and I thought that was stinking cute so and it is a stencil um, so yeah so oh no it's a yeah it's a stencil so yeah you can put the little faces on top of the ghosts <laughs> so anyway that's what I got there so that was that okay you guys so I had to cut this video in half because it wasn't over an hour long um, I could not get it to upload so we're gonna be doing 30 minute increments so the next video will be part three of the Florida Expo Hall okay <laughs> so I hope you join me and take care and I will talk to you soon <laughs> bye Thanks again for joining me, y'all. Yeah, I hope you all have a beautiful day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment.